Hello! Are you enjoying the hot spring? We're at your house right now. What in the Oreos? Really sorry, dear. I borrowed it for a barbecue, you see. <laughs> Uh, that's not my house, ma'am. Trouble Busters! Oh, what a coincidence! Miss Hannah, do you live around here? It's that house made of wood over there. I see, looking pretty classy. Doesn't really suit you, Melanie. <laughs> what do you... Oh, I know! Next time, let's have a barbecue party at your place. What? Well, all you have to do is get the house ready and clean up. No, my garden is... Oh, that's right. You said you were going to a hot spring trip soon. Uh, how did you know? A little bird told me, Melanie. I'm so jealous. To afford to indulge frequently. Doesn't seem like you, though. Uh-huh. I'm putting some effort into the home garden to cut down on food costs. Hmm. Well, I'm really looking forward to the barbecue. No, ma'am. My name is Melanie. Hannah here is a kind of big boss mama around here. With an esteemed position in the local PTA. Honestly, I don't take a liking to Miss Hannah, who talks about things like in a condescending manner. Ah, that was so much fun! Hello? Are you enjoying the hot spring? I'm almost there. I'll take you some souvenirs later. Oh, really? Perfect timing. Huh? We're at your house right now. What in the Oreos? Really sorry, dear. I borrowed it for a barbecue, you see. <laughs> no, slow down. What do you mean? There are about 15 people here right now. If you're coming back now, let's eat together, yes? Oh, and you can take care of the cleaning. How did you get so many? More to the point, you went in so far as to provide chairs and barbecue grills and whatnot. I'm impressed. I always thought you were kind of a bummer, but I guess you can do anything if you put your mind to it. <laughs> huh? That's not my house, ma'am. Eh? I was wondering what you were going to say. But could you be angry at me for using your house without permission? N no, not exactly. Why haven't you ever invited me in, though, even though you live in such a nice house? Truly, though, that kind of stinginess just won't do, Melanie. Listen, we truly do not have a garden that's large enough to have a barbecue in the first place. That can't be true, right? We're all having so much fun right now. <laughs> that is not my house, but a house just one block away that has a similar atmosphere to mine, you see. Huh? What are you talking about? You just told me the other day and there's no way I would get it wrong. Believe me, ma'am, the exterior looks exactly the same, but the size is so different. And if I remember correctly, people ought to be aware of that house. Come now, come now. Making shit up to throw us out now, are we? <laughs> no, seriously. Because I just arrived at home and the garden is beautifully quiet as usual with all its plants and flowers growing nicely. I won't be fooled, darling. Don't dawdle and get yourself over here quickly, okay? <laughs> oh, I'd appreciate it if you could bring some more drinks. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I... Huh? I have no choice. Uh, hello? This is Melanie Thompson. Hannah and I are mere acquaintances, enough to engage in small talk if we meet on the street. It's not like we get along particularly well. However, since she's one of those people who has a reputation in my daughter's school, I've been putting up with a lot of things up until now because I felt I needed to be cautious with her. However, I never thought that she would start doing something so insane. It's not mine, indeed, but I can't stand it when people mess around with people's property. Unforgivable. Troublebusters initiate. Hello? When's the beer coming? It's all gone! As I said earlier, that is not my house, so I suggest you clean up quickly. What is going on here? Huh? Who are- <laughs> You were too late. What do you want, sir? What the frick are you thinking? Being so many in someone else's garden without permission. And I was planning on using that brand new barbecue grill tomorrow, and you went and- Who is the main frickin' culprit? The main culprit? What does that mean? Please explain quickly! Didn't you listen to me? That is not my home! I have no choice but to be honest and say what I said, don't I? N no way! Are you the damn mastermind? Hey! Yes, no, sir! I thought this was the house of someone I know! I never dreamed that someone I didn't know would be living here! Eh, that kind of bullshit won't work on me, bitch! The truth! Uh, it is the truth! 
truth, sir? Listen here. I spent dozens of grand on carefully tending this garden. I guess you know what will happen if you trample on it like this, eh? Uh, um, I'm really sorry about this. If this can be fixed with an I'm sorry, we wouldn't need the frickin' police. I was gonna invite people to this garden for a party tomorrow. Whatever it takes, get it back to normal. B -b back to normal? I really didn't know. That kind of money. Please, help me. Oh, you didn't know. And you think I'm gonna forgive you? This house. This house is a property of Del Diablos, who protects this little patch. D -d -d Del Diablos? The famous motorcycle gang? We were fooled, sir. I was told this was a friend's house, so I ended up hosting a barbecue here, and if I'd known it was someone else's house, I wouldn't dream. Please believe me. Aha. Uh -huh. So you say you really don't know anything, eh? It's all the fault of the person who deceived you, eh? That's right, that's right. We just did what we were told to do and had a barbecue here. That's who should be blamed. If that's the case, bring her here right now. Now! H Hello, Melanie? You heard everything, right? Huh? Don't tell me I'm not the one who deceived you, am I? It is so, because you didn't explain it properly. Isn't that unreasonable? You assumed everything, not even letting me explain. Listen up! Don't leave a speck of dust behind! I don't know what Master would do if he found his garden in this state. More to the point, where the frick is that traitor of yours? Well, she lives nearby, so I think she'll be here soon. Um... Hey, you're late! I told you to come right away, eh? It's only been about ten minutes. Uh, um, she's here, sir. Hmm? This is the person who lied to me and let me have a barbecue at this house. Perhaps she was trying to get us all in trouble from the beginning. What are you saying? I wouldn't dream. You bitch. Listen, you just play along, all right? Understand? Explain yourself! I never thought she would deceive us all like this. This was terrible, Melanie. Not her. You, you lying hussy. What? Me? There's no way it's frickin' okay to enter someone's house without damn permission. Enough lies! What's going on? Do you two know each other? Well, I was also very surprised when this gentleman first talked to me. I often exchange information about home gardening with Mr. Warwick here. Exchange information? The reason I was so surprised at first when he approached me was because he said the vegetables I was growing were excellent. But as I talked with him more, he turned out to be very enthusiastic about learning about vegetables. Huh? Huh? Master, my father loves fresh vegetables. And whenever he was out for a walk, he would always look at Mrs. Thompson's garden and admire it. I suppose it caught your eye even more quickly because the houses look so similar. Um, I'm not telling any lies. Huh? huh? Melanie was definitely the one who said this was her home. Are you still saying that? I'm sure she was jealous of such a spacious house, Mr. Warwick, was it? There's a certain side to Melanie here like that. A certain side? A side that tries to show off. Or rather, she frequently goes on hot spring trips and wants to look good for the people around her. I'm not trying to show off, ma'am. Hot springs are a hobby of my husband's and I, and we always stay at cheap inns, so it's not like we spend that much money. I I'm sure this house was an inspiration to her, so she copied it and made her own look similar, right? Admit it! No, 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 no. Forget about all that load of bullshit. I clearly explained from the beginning that my house is way over there. It's true, it's natural to be mistaken if you see a house that looks exactly like this one a block away. But even though the exteriors are similar, things like the size of the garden are completely different. And I believe our house was built later than Mrs. Thompson's. It's been around for quite some time, hasn't it? Indeed, it was built soon after I got married, so it's been about ten years now, I think. I thought so. We've only been in this house for the past three years, so there was nothing for you to copy should you do that. <sighs> Besides, unfortunately for us, we have only a garden large enough for us to enjoy home gardening, so when I heard that you were planning a barbecue, I was shocked. Hey now, pull it together, Melanie! Huh? I don't think there's any point in lying right now, ma'am. I suggest you come clean and apologize. And why are you freaking pretending to have a sense of justice? Unacceptable! I believe this is more like something that should be natural as human beings. You know that if this continues, I'll be in a huge trouble, right? If you are an acquaintance of his, you should probably shouldn't mind negotiating with him about money of my pleads of mercy and apology to him, eh? That's impossible. We are acquaintances indeed, but only enough that we only have a connection about growing vegetable gardens and nothing more. Your responsibility right now is to do something about this regardless. Hey, what are you two whispering about? No, you see, Mrs. Thompson will never admit that she deceived us all. You understand? Listen, 
Mrs. Thompson here passionately enjoys growing her vegetables. She taught people like us the joys of growing vegetables at home, see? There's no way a woman like her would ever invite people into our garden without permission. Uh, how can you say such a thing? Have you considered you wouldn't understand her true nature if you only knew her at the level of discussing home gardens? And what about you, eh? What do you know about her? Melanie always compliments our garden, see? Vegetables that grow in a place like this will be delicious, she says. You know she'd know what would happen to her if she beckoned people who are too stupid to even know what's right and wrong into her garden. I can tell you without a doubt that she would never do that. Mr. Warwick, thank you for believing in me, sir. What? The environment is important when it comes to growing vegetables, so anyone who gardens at home will probably think that they don't want strangers in their garden, you see. That doesn't matter? It does matter. You still don't seem to understand what you've done, making the vegetables we've worked so hard to grow look like piles of trash. I told you, did I not, that my coming would make your position even worse. You're the one trying to make my damn position worse! Wouldn't it be nice if you could just cover for me a little? Why would I do that? Sh shut up! More to the point, maybe it's your fault because you gave confusing explanations. If you knew there were similar houses out there, you should have told me that from the beginning, right? In the beginning, I never expected you to do something so selfish, and I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to explain things. It's your fault you own a similar house. This house here is also a vegetable garden, which is exactly what I heard from you. You didn't tell me your garden was so small that you couldn't have a barbecue. In the end, it's all your fault. I tried to tell you that I couldn't host a barbecue, but you kept talking over me and didn't want to listen. That's always the case, isn't it? Even when we discuss something important during PTA meetings, you keep making all the decisions. I think everyone's getting really tired of that, wouldn't you agree? What the hell? Do you want to say that everything is my fault? Who else is there to blame? It wasn't like we intentionally wanted to trash the place, so isn't that enough, right? I thought it was Melanie's house, so it couldn't be helped, understand? Couldn't be helped? That's right, if I'd have known it was a stranger's house, would I have done something like this? No! That's ridiculous. What is? Even if it was my home, it would be outrageous for you to barge inside when I'm not home and invite a bunch of people over for a barbecue. Th that's Even though I told you I garden, what's the point in destroying the produce on property that isn't even yours? I can only assume that you did it on purpose because you hated me for whatever reason. Even if things broke inside, even when they pulled out the vegetables, even if there was graffiti left, right, and center, you would only laugh and watch on because it would be my house. That right there is what's ridiculous. Because... Mrs. Thompson is right. It's embarrassing that a grown adult like you can't even tell what's right and wrong. I have no hope for humanity now. I feel so sorry for your kid being raised by such a clawed pole. Uh. Back to business, because you know, Mrs. Thompson, I wouldn't report to the police as long as I get my money. If you can't prepare $50,000 right now... C -c can't it be split up? 50000 is not an amount of money we even have at home. Even if I were to ask everyone for contributions, I don't know about fifty grand. All of it, now! M M Melanie, we're friends, right? Please, I'll pay you back once my husband's bonus comes. Please don't say we're friends only at a time like this. Excuse me? You little- Well then, you're okay with this? Yes sir, you can sue for burglary, I don't care. Understood. If Mrs. Thompson says so. N no way! You're joking, right? my husband finds out about this, he might divorce me! No, I don't want to get caught! Can't be helped. You're the one who caused all this. Go on, talk to the police and reflect on your actions. No, please! And Mr. Warwick promptly alerted the police. Miss Hannah was arrested, caught red-handed on charges of burglary and property damage. Because it was her first crime, she was fined, but as expected, her husband issued a divorce against her. Now she's been offered work in the adult industry and is doing everything until the garden is restored to its original condition. Ah, oh, Mrs. Thompson! Mr. Warwick, I'm so sorry about the other day. Have things been going well? Well, I had to answer the master quite a bit, but I managed. So was that other dumbass. It's been tough for you too, I see. <laughs> Why, yes it was, thanks to you. I feel like I don't have to worry every time I attend a school PTA meeting. From now on, I will actively participate for the sake of my daughter. Troublebusters! <laughs>